Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a quick update um, with my wash and go routine. Um, as you can see, my my gloves and my shower cap, I'm ready to go. So let me just run through what I did up to this point. I shampooed and I conditioned and then I applied my curling custard and my Mayel curling custard and my eco salad gel and I just applied that in the shower in four sections and then I just clipped it up and covered it to finish showering and um, get dressed and all that stuff so that's where we are now so what I'm using of course my gloves my um, my shampoo brush another clip and my dryer my Revlon 1875 Ionic ceramic dryer I got this from Walgreens if you're interested all right so anyways let me just show you what my hair is looking like right now all right so what I try to do now um, I apply all my products on soaking wet hair in the shower so when I get out and I get to this point all I'm doing is either raking through or shingling my curls and then I dry it that's it I'm not applying anything else so I just make sure when I'm in the shower that I do apply enough but I mean I can add more if I want but I try not to because I don't need that much product in my hair so I am going to let's do this side first So I usually start from the back and work my way forward. As far as the styling portion, nothing much has changed. It's just like my product application. But it was requested for an update, so why not? Section smaller. So. so what I do with the shower cap, I try to cover my hair to keep the moisture in, as much of the moisture in as possible. And that really helps. Alright, so so what I'm doing in the shower when I'm applying the product, I make sure my hair is thoroughly detangled. Um, and I try to smooth my hair. You can see it's nice and flat. That's how I want my, my style to start. Nice and flat and detangled. So it'll be really easy to do this part when I get out of the shower. So before this used to take me like, mm, I guess it, it depends on how small I'm doing it. It could be like an hour or say one to two hours or one to an hour and a half, just to be fair. Small clip. All right. clip under here and then the smaller clip to help to make my section smaller so you guys know if you've been watching my channel you know I like the shingling method but there are so many different ways that you can do this. If you just want to like use a shampoo brush to just smooth it out and just leave it as the shampoo brush detangles it, that's fine too. But 
I like to make sure that everything is nice and clumped together the size that I want it to be. So. Oh yes, yeah, so I was talking about the time, like the length of time. Now that I'm applying everything um, in the shower, it's no longer taking me over an hour to do this portion. It takes me like 30 minutes max. If I'm doing like bigger sections, I don't really care about the size, then it'll be shorter, of course. But if you're picky like me, I know how I want my hair to sit, so that's why I take the time to do it like this. So because my, my strands are so... Um, Fine. Um, it's easier for me, it's better for me if I clump it, if I clump all the, all the curls together instead of just raking everything through and it's like a little frizzy which is not a bad look but if I do that I know that I am my hair is gonna tangle faster and if I wait a whole week with my hair like that it's gonna it's gonna be really hard to be tangled and I'm probably gonna lose a lot more hair than usual so I find that doing this, making sure that each curl is clumped, it really helps with my detangling for my next shower day. Alright, so as you can see it's nothing, nothing special but definitely wanted to update you guys and there will be another video that I'll be doing next week hopefully um, someone asked about my like my hair maintenance my daily or weekly maintenance so I'll be going over all the products that I use all the tools that I use I did a, a similar video not too long ago, I think it was last year, and just a little bit has changed, and we'll, we'll discuss that during that video. Yeah. And if you haven't seen my in-shower wash day routine, I'll link it somewhere I'll link it in the iCard for you guys so you can see it exactly how I shampoo and condition my hair um, and that's like basically my the majority of my routine is just what I do on wash day mostly and now that I'm applying the product in the shower, the majority of my routine is done inside of the shower. So, unfortunately, when I recorded the wash day routine in the shower, I wasn't, I wasn't um, applying my products in the shower at that time. I started doing that after. So that's not in the video. But I think you guys get the basic idea of what what I do. If you have any questions you can just leave it in the comment section. I know not everybody likes to ask questions in the comment section so you can if you're on instagram you can send me a direct message you can email me 
whatever works for you. Also leave that in the comment section below. Um, and if you didn't know already, there's a lot of like, there was a lot of changes on YouTube. So when I do post, my subscribers don't even know that I posted. So make sure that you click the bell so you'll be notified when I do upload videos. But I am mostly on Instagram and um, most of the time I post my content there first but if you're not on Instagram you know click the bell so you'll be notified so I can share it here so this is what it looks like and you'll see that every single curl is clumped and it's not like single strands in between that's what I mean every curl clumped so when I do that and I set it with the blow dryer um, my hair doesn't knot up that much so when I go to wash it the following wash day it's still in its separated clumps so it's really easy to detangle and do what I need to do so I'm gonna do most of the rest of it and come back and show you the results and move on to the drying portion. Alright, so I'm on my last section. <clears throat> Apparently I didn't put enough gel or I put too much of the custard, but that's okay. I notice if I don't, if I use too much of the custard or not enough of the styling gel, then I have more volume from day one. Like I said, it's okay. I don't mind the look. Pretty much done, what I'm going to do is immediately start blow drying and I find that when I, um, when I blow dry soaking wet hair, then I get more, it doesn't shrink as much, I mean it does shrink but not as much as when I let it air dry and then blow dry it or completely air dry it. So when I use the blow dryer and I set it, I get more of a hold. Um, if I let it air dry, then it's a much softer hold. So if you don't like the crunch of your gel, then I guess you can air dry it or air dry it most of the way and then use a dryer to finish. All right, so I'm gonna just take these off and immediately start drying because it's starting to air dry already. And you can tell like by how puffy it is. It doesn't have a ton of gel. do I check the back to make sure there's like no crazy parts and I'll flip it over or shake it because when I blow dry it I, um, 
I'm not gonna be manipulating it anymore. So I do everything while it's like this. And I don't touch it with my hands. I just shake it where I want it to be and then set it. So I'm gonna start drying. All right, so I'm gonna do um, low setting, hot heat, and then I'll probably put it on high speed, warm setting. So we're gonna start hot, low. Alright, so my camera cut off, of course, but um, I started drying at about 7.25 and so I was doing the whole drying process using the dryer for about 15 minutes and um, it's like probably 80% dry so what I was trying to show you guys and tell you when I start is that I try to focus on like the outside of my hair to make sure this is dry and my roots as much as possible um, and then whatever is up under here because back here takes the longest to dry for whatever reason um, so whatever is in there, if that is wet, that's fine. I'll just let it air dry, but I try to make sure the outside is dry before I stop. So it's still pretty cool. I, sh I like to do it till it's like 80 to 95% dry. And then I'll let it continue drying the rest of the night. So I am going to do it a little bit longer. Alright, so I'm done. It's like 90 to 95% dry now. And it's just the back section and the bottom that's a little cold. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, I used more custard than I usually use today. So it's not as flat and it's not as crunchy but it still has hold and if you don't like the hold what you can do is just um, just grab sections of your hair and kind of pull it or twist it around like you're about to make a bantu knot and that'll like break up the cast but I like to keep the cast for a little bit um, and if I'm going out or whatever then I'll probably break the the cast so it can fluff up a little bit more but yeah this is basically it and another thing that you can do and I have a video of on here you can just um, if you want to stretch it a little bit more just use the your blow dryer with the concentrator nozzle and just pull out your hair wherever you want to stretch more um, and just pull at it and blow the roots um, yeah to make it either longer or if you want more volume you can do that as well um, 
yeah so that's pretty much it if I remember anything after recording this I'll probably add it to the description box below but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video bye Thank you.